Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1732, composer Joseph Haydn, one of the most important figures in the development of classical music, was born in Austria. In 1736, Bellevue Hospital is founded in New York City as the first public hospital in the United States. In 1945, Jews are expelled from Prague. In 1771, philosopher Immanuel Kant is appointed professor of logic and metaphysics at the University of Konigsberg. In 1774, the Kingdom of Great Britain orders the Port of Boston, Massachusetts closed pursuant to the Boston Port Act. In 1808, the French-created Kingdom of Westphalia orders Jews to take family names. In 1822, soldiers of the Ottoman Empire massacre the population of the Greek island of Chios. In 1850, the U.S. population hits 23 million people. In 1854, Commodore Matthew Perry signs the Treaty of Kanagawa with the Japanese government, which opens their ports for American trade. In 1870, Thomas Peterson Mundy of New Jersey became the first African-American to vote under the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. In 1880, Wabash, Indiana becomes the first town to be completely illuminated by electric lighting. In 1889, the Eiffel Tower is opened to the public. In 1906, the Intercollegiate Athletic Association, or the IAA, is established to set rules for college sports in the United States. We now just call it the NCAA. In 1909, Serbia accepts Austrian control over Bosnia and Herzegovina. Also in 1909, the National Baseball Commission rules that players who jump contracts will be suspended for five years. And again in 1909, Gustav Mahler conducts the New York Philharmonic for his first time. In 1917, the United States pays Denmark $425 million for the Danish West Indies and renames the territory the United States Virgin Islands. That is one of my favorite places. In 1918, the United States switches to daylight savings time for the first time. Also in 1918, Armenians and Bolsheviks massacre nearly 12,000 Azerbaijani Muslims. In 1920, the British Parliament accepts the Irish Home Rule Law. In 1921, the Royal Australian Air Force is formed today. In 1923, Alma Cummings sets a record of 27 hours with six different partners at the first U.S. Dance Marathon in New York City. In 1930, the U.S. Motion Pictures Production Code goes into effect, which imposes strict guidelines on the treatment of sex, crime, religion, and violence in film for the next 38 years. In 1931, an earthquake destroys Managua, Nicaragua, killing 2,000 people. Also in 1931, TWA Flight 599 crashes near Bazaar, Kansas, killing eight people, including Newt Rockney, the head football coach at the University of Notre Dame. In 1932, the Ford Motor Company publicly unveils its V8 engine. In 1939, The Hound of Baskervilles is released. It is the first of 14 films starring Basil Rathbone as Sherlock Holmes and Nigel Bruce as Dr. Watson. In 1941, ground is broken for the Union Square Garage in San Francisco. In 1943, Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical Oklahoma opens at the St. James Theater in New York City and runs for 2,212 performances. Also in 1943, the United States accidentally bombs Rotterdam in the Netherlands, killing 326 people. In 1944, Hungary orders all Jews to wear yellow stars. In 1945, during World War II, a defecting German pilot delivers a Messerschmitt ME-262A-1 to the Americans. It was the world's first jet fighter aircraft. And thank you very much. Also in 1945, the play Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams premieres in New York City. In 1948, the U.S. Congress passes the Marshall Aid Act to help rehabilitate war-torn Europe. In 1949, the Dominion of Newfoundland joins the Canadian Confederation and becomes the 10th province of Canada. 
In 1953, the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare is established. In 1955, the merger of Chase National Bank and Bank of the Manhattan Company forms Chase Manhattan. In 1957, Rodgers and Hammerstein's live television musical Cinderella, starring Julie Andrews, premieres on CBS TV. In 1958, the U.S. Navy forms the Atomic Submarine Division. In 1965, an Iberia Airlines Convair 440 crashes into the sea on approach to Tangier, killing 47 of the 51 occupants. In 1966, the Soviet Union launches Luna 10, which becomes the first space probe to enter orbit around the moon. In 1967, today at the Astoria in London was the first time Jimi Hendrix burned his guitar. What a waste of a perfectly good guitar. In 1968, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson stuns viewers by ending a televised speech about the Vietnam War by announcing that he would not seek re-election. Also in 1968, Seattle, Washington names their American League Baseball Club the Pilots. In 1968 as well, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson authorizes a troop surge in Vietnam, bringing the total number of U.S. soldiers to a peak of 549,500. In 1969, the New York Times reviews Kurt Vonnegut's book Slaughterhouse-Five by saying, you'll either love it or push it back in the science fiction corner. In 1970, Explorer 1 re-enters the Earth's atmosphere after 12 years in orbit. Also in 1970, nine terrorists from the Japanese Red Army hijacked Japan Airlines Flight 351 at Tokyo International Airport, wielding samurai swords and carrying a bomb. In 1970 as well, a federal bankruptcy court allows the Seattle pilots to be sold to Milwaukee. In 1971, William Calley is sentenced to life for the Maile Massacre. If you watch my channel, you know exactly what that means. In 1972, the official Beatles fan club closes down. Also in 1972, today is the final day of the Rum Nation in the Royal Canadian Navy. In 1973, the Philadelphia Flyers score an NHL record tying eight goals from an astounding 60 shots in the second period of a 10-2 win over the New York Islanders. Also in 1973, American tennis star Billie Jean King ends Australian Margaret Court's 57-match winning streak in the semifinals of the WTA event in Indianapolis, Indiana. In 1975, at the 37th NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, UCLA beats Kentucky 92-85, which becomes their 10th title under coach John Wooden, who had announced his retirement just two days earlier. In 1978, Paul McCartney and Wings released their London Town album. In 1979, the last British soldier leaves the Maltese Islands and Malta declares its freedom. In 1980, American runner Jesse Owens passes away at 66 years old. Also in 1980, President Jimmy Carter deregulates the banking industry. In 1981, at the first Golden Raspberry Awards, can't Stop the Music wins for Worst Movie. Also in 1981, at the 53rd Academy Awards, Ordinary People, Robert De Niro, and Sissy Spacek win. In 1982, American rock supergroup The Doobie Brothers split up. In 1983, the Papayan earthquake in Colombia kills 267 people and injures 7,500 more. Also in 1983, Monty Python's The Meaning of Life is released in the United States. In 1985, the first edition of WrestleMania is held in New York City. In 1986, a Mexicana Boeing 727 en route to Puerto Vallarta erupts in flames and crashes into the mountains northwest of Mexico City, killing 166 people. In 1988, Toni Morrison is awarded the Pulitzer Prize for her novel, Beloved. In 1990, 200,000 protesters take to the streets of London to protest against the newly introduced poll tax. Also in 1990, Carol and Company, starring Carol Burnett, premieres on NBC TV. In 1991, Danny Bonaducci attacks a transvestite prostitute 
in Phoenix, Arizona. I would like to say Danny who, but I know who he is. In 1992, the USS Missouri was decommissioned for a second and final time. It was the last U.S. battleship still in service from that era. In 1994, the journal Nature reports the finding in Ethiopia of the first complete Australopithecus afarensis skull. Also in 1994, the Chicago White Sox assigned former NBA superstar Michael Jordan to the Birmingham Barons of the Class 2A Southern League. So he returns to the NBA after just one season gone. In 1995, American singer Selena was murdered by her friend and employee who was embezzling money from her. In 1998, the Milwaukee Brewers become the first team since the inception of the American League in 1901 to switch MLB leagues. In 1999, the Matrix movie is released and Keanu Reeves becomes really rich. Also in 1999, a modernization of Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, the movie 10 Things I Hate About You, starring Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger, is released. In 2002, tennis master Andre Agassi wins his 700th career match. In 2003, the Cincinnati Reds open their new home, the Great American Ballpark. In 2004, with a 12-1 defeat of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, New York Yankees starter Kevin Brown becomes only the second pitcher in MLB history to beat all 30 baseball teams. In 2009, the Black Eyed Peas released their single, Boom Boom Pow, and it wins the Grammy Award for Best Music Video in 2010 and the Billboard Song of the Year for 2009. In 2017, mudslides caused by heavy rains sweep through Makoa, Colombia, killing more than 200 people. In 2019, Elton John and George Clooney lead the boycott of hotels owned by the Sultan of Brunei after Brunei plans new anti-gay laws to make homosexual sex punishable by death. Also in 2019, rapper and activist Nipsey Hussle is fatally shot outside his clothing store in Los Angeles. In 2021, U.S. President Joe Biden overturned former President Trump's restrictions on transgender people serving in the armed forces. And lastly, in 2021, Paul Simon sells his entire songwriting catalog of over 400 songs to Sony Music Publishing. That was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and that you subscribe to my channel. Again, I've got way more in front of you and more on my channel and more coming. Lots planned. Have a great day.